Hello, I'm Maureen Toms, mayor of this vibrant city, Penol. Last month, the Contra Costa Fire Protection District hosted an open house at the newly reopened Fire Station 74. The event was a huge success and many residents showed up to explore fire apparatus and meet their local firefighters. Thank you to all who participated in the Wildfire Preparedness Town Hall meeting. I'm inspired by your desire to make Penol a safer place by learning how to prevent wildfire. If you are a property owner, don't forget about the city's weed abatement requirements. Prevent fire by cutting your weeds and creating defensible space around your property structures. The city of Pinole is in the midst of the budget season and the baseline budget for fiscal year 24-25 is over by $1.3 million. Staff have been asked to reduce operating budgets by 6% in order to achieve a structurally balanced budget. While the city's finances are stable, city revenues are growing at a slower rate than expenditures. Additional revenue options have been considered to secure the long-term financial health of the city. At the May 7th council meeting, the city council voted unanimously to pursue a half cent sales tax increase measure that residents may see on the ballot in November's election. The measure aims to generate $2.5 million annually for the general fund that will be used to maintain fiscal stability and provide the City of Pinole with essential services such as maintaining fire protection and 911 emergency response, keeping public areas safe and clean, upgrading storm drains, repairing potholes, streets, and roads, preventing crime, and many others. Visit PinoleSpeaks.com and let us know how you feel about the potential sales tax measure and how you'd want those funds to be spent. There will be a public hearing on the proposed ballot measure on July 16th in the council chambers. The Community Development Department is proud to announce the launch of instant permits for residential solar and battery storage systems. The city is partnering with Symbium to simplify compliance and workflows with a groundbreaking platform that verifies code compliance in real time. It automates the issuance of these permits, lowers the cost for permit applicants and homeowners, and increases the speed of installing residential solar energy systems in Penol. The department is pleased to introduce the new platform. It represents a significant move towards promoting renewable energy adoption and simplifying business processes in our community. To apply for a solar permit or for more information, visit our website. Keep an eye out for electric vehicles that are part of the Public Works new fleet driving around town very soon. The city recently purchased two Chevy Bolts as directed by the city council. They found a great deal on used models with less than 10,000 miles on them. Public Works will apply the new decals featuring our new city logo for a fresh updated look. Also, come downtown Penol on Sunday, June 23rd for the annual Classic Car Show. A pancake breakfast will be held that morning at the Senior Center. We look forward to seeing all the classic cars and the community at this unique event. Penol's big 4th of July event is fast approaching. The city will host a drone show at Penol Valley High School along with other festivities. We are still looking for community-based organizations to walk in the 4th of July parade. A parade is a festive way to call attention to your group's mission. If you or someone you know are part of a group that would like to participate in the parade, please contact the assistant to the city manager, Fiona Epps. 
We plan on keeping you updated on the Beat of Pinole each month. You can follow our progress on social media, the city's website, and PCTV. Thank you for watching.